It was October 4th, 1957, when mankind followed its destiny. On that very day, we pushed open the door to the cosmos and for the first time ever, sent a device beyond the borders of our planet. On that day, the Sputnik satellite began operations, Earth's first artificial satellite and the starting point of the age of space travel. We have come a long way since then. Satellites in Earth's orbit were just the beginning and were soon followed by the first humans to leave our planet and float in space as astronauts. The view they enjoyed from up there must have been breathtaking. After millions of years of evolution on this small blue planet, our species was the first terrestrial being ever to admire our cosmic home in its full glory from space. Certainly a sublime moment, but we humans would not be humans if we would have been satisfied with that. As early as 1969, just a few years after the first satellite flew into space, mankind achieved perhaps its greatest success up to the present day. The Apollo 11 astronauts flew to the moon. And after the landing with the lunar module Eagle had succeeded, Neil Armstrong became the first human to set his feet on the dusty surface of our moon. There is probably hardly a person that does not know his famous words. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. In just a few years, we managed to leave our home planet and send both men and machines not only into space, but even to the surface of other celestial bodies. After the moon was conquered, the other planets of our solar system were the logical next target. Seven years after the milestone of Apollo 11, NASA succeeded in landing a lander on Mars for the first time with Viking 1. Today, there are several rovers on the surface of the red planet. The latest one is called Perseverance and even has a small helicopter with it, which is another achievement of mankind. For the first time, we succeeded in flying an aircraft on a foreign celestial body, and that not even 120 years after the Wright brothers made their dream come true and completed the first flight with a motorized aircraft. Perhaps the greatest success of an unmanned space flight, however, is the Voyager probes. These engineering marvels have been exploring our solar system since 1977 and have provided us with the first detailed insights into the fantastic and impressive world of the gas planets. People gazed in amazement at the first close-up images of the mighty storms of Jupiter, the enormous rings of Saturn, and the icy cloud bands of Uranus and Neptune. Amazingly, the Voyager probes are still active and float in the far reaches beyond Pluto. Only recently have they left the so-called heliopause behind and are now the first man-made objects in interstellar space. They carry a special cargo, the golden records, data carriers with information about mankind selected by a few experts. We humans have never been satisfied with what we have already achieved. We are born explorers and pioneers, and there is no doubt that this spirit of discovery will carry us even deeper into the enigmatic expanses of space. Our cosmic journey is just beginning, and we want to write the next chapter together with you. We are building a space probe that will leave the solar system far behind and literally travel to the stars. It will head for an exoplanet in a distant solar system and it will do one crucial thing differently than the Voyager probes. It won't be an exclusive panel of experts deciding what cargo to take, but someone far more important. You. You can send your own message into space with our space probe. Your thoughts, your words, your dreams, your pictures, your lyrics, or your writings. Everything that is important to you will travel into cosmic infinity on board our space probe. 65 years after mankind opened the door to the cosmos, the next step in the evolution of space travel is you. Together, we are writing the next chapter in the history of space exploration. Together, we're sending your message to the stars. Together, we are Space Pig.